Hey everyone, it's Selena here. Alright, so on my uh, Cricut Design Space Lessons with Selena Facebook group, I got a question on how to... Actually, you know what? It wasn't posted on there. It was um, directly asked to me through a, a personal message, but um, they were asking if designing or creating a, a, like a split monogram, if it was pretty easy or if it was hard or, you know, kind of how it's done. And so I just wanted to give an example on how to create your own. Um, there's some out there that you can search on Google. You can buy some. Um, but, you know, it's kind of nice to know how to do it yourself so that you can create your own and not have to spend the money to purchase one. So I um, have a couple here that um, this is actually these two R's at the top are from the uh, Anna Griffin cartridge. It's a monogram cartridge. There's some really pretty monograms on there. So I pulled those in. And then these two actually had a lot more layers with it, but I deleted them. I'm just going to be working with one of the layers. And these are from the monogram motifs cartridge. And this is included in the Design Space subscription. So these are free if you have the subscription. Mom, it dropped. Okay. Mommy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, let's start with, oh, and then this is the other one that I inserted. This was a just a basic shape. It was a square, and I unlocked it just to kind of make like a long rectangle. So I'm going to use this shape here. Let's duplicate that a couple of times or several times so that we have enough to do the other example. So I'm just going to move these over. So what I want to do is I want to slice this right down in the center and um, because we want to put like a last name or a name or something right here in the middle so let's slice that middle part out so I have that position where I need it to be and I'm just gonna drag a box around the two and I'm gonna slice alright so we got that slice so let's get rid of this we don't need that anymore alright and then I don't want it just like that. It doesn't look, to me, it doesn't look just right or doesn't look complete. If you Google the split monograms online, um, let's actually do that so you can kind of see the look I'm going for. So let's do split monogram. And there's lots of examples. I actually have a tutorial out there to kind of sh that shows you how to get like a pattern sliced out of it like this monogram I mean this chevron here like this one here but you see how there's this top and bottom line that's what I want so I'm gonna take um, this here and I'm gonna unlock this and I'm just gonna bring it right about here and I'm gonna weld these to the R so it can kind of complete that look. Let's kind of get it centered there. Alright, so I'm going to take that um, skinny line that I just created. Uh, I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to put it right here, right below it. And let's make sure that these are lined up. So I have this one selected. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm also going to select um, this other one here. And you know what? It's grabbing the R. So kind of be careful with which one you're selecting. So I'm going to grab this one and this one. And so now I have those two selected. You can see that they're highlighted here in my panel section. And I'm going to go to the align. And I'm going to drop that down and I'm going to align. Let's see. Let's just align to the left because they're both the same size. So we got those in place. Okay, so now I'm going to drag a box around all of these. So they're all selected, the two lines and the R, and I'm going to weld them. Now when you're using slice, you can only slice one layer image with another one layer image, but when you're welding, you can weld as many images together. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and weld that. And there's your split monogram, and then you can go ahead and um, do a last name in there. And let's make this a pretty font. takes a little while to load my fonts because I have quite a bit. So let's just pick 
this font here. It's kind of a thick one. Let's go with the thinner one. Let's do, let's try this one. <clears throat> Since this monogram is kind of a scripty monogram, you might want to do just a regular, a regular font or, um, what is it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a printed font. So this is super duper 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 tiny. Right? I, I don't like all this excess on the left and the right. So what I would do is I would go to letter spacing and I would just keep going until it's kind of spaced out the way I would think it looks good. And if you want to do it like that, or you can choose a different font that looks more appropriate with this. Um, and then you can change the color to black if you're going to use all the same color. So if you're going to use all the same color, what I would do is select everything and choose attach so that when it's ready to cut, that name here in the center is going to cut exactly right there in the center. If I don't attach it, when you go on, when you click the go button, you're going to see that the R is going to be there on your mat and the, the last name is going to be here and these letters are probably going to be scrambled up too. And let's, let's do that so you can see what it looks like. So there you're ready to cut, and then you go to this one here, and you're like, uh, what happened? This is not even lined up over here. So that's the reason for, and like I said, if you're using all the same color, I would select it all and click attach, and that will cut exactly the way that you see it. So now let's go to our uh, cut screen, and you can see that that name stayed right in the middle where it should be. All right, so let's scoot that over there. Let's try it with this one because depending on what you're using uh, or what, what you're slicing, sometimes slice doesn't always work. Sometimes you get error messages depending on the image that you're using. For the most part, when you use um, Cr Cricut Design Space or you know a cartridge image, um, it's going to work just fine. It's what I've noticed when you use uploaded images that have open paths that you know have all these spacings and stuff that you try to slice those are what gives you the issues so um, I'll probably pull one in from Google to see okay so we're gonna slice this one I just selected everything or selected those two so that's now sliced let's just get rid of that middle part all right let's say that um, the slice that you did is a little bit too narrow let's say that you want um, a little bit more space in between so let's do the same thing with this one. Let's make our top and bottom borders that we're going to weld. So let's do that one there, and let's do another one at the bottom. And then let's just make sure that these two are lined up correctly. So let's go to align to the left. All right, so now we got that where it needs to be, and it's kind of not centered the way I want it. Let's scoot these over. I'm going to select both of them and I'm just going to use my keys to scoot them both over at the same time. Alright, so let's do something like that. Select everything and click weld. And what I'm referring to as far as like the width between here, let's say that you wanted your um, the word or whatever name that you're going to put in there to be taller than that. But see, when I, I can't move them apart. But what you can do is you can slice the, the top or the bottom portion and um, and then you'll have wiggle room. So let's just slice the bottom portion. Okay, let's get rid of this one. So now that you can see that you can like make this a little bit larger if you wanted to insert a taller font or something like that. All right, so there's that one. Oops. Let's get that out of the way. Let's try to slice this one. Okay, same thing. I'm not having any issues right now. Everything's slicing just great. So let me get um, one from Google and let's see how that works. Let's do a monogram R. This is a very popular one. This uh, this is like a vine letter monogram. So let's save this image. 
I didn't plan on pulling one for, from Google, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna go through the steps of um, in uploading a basic image or a, an image from uh, the internet. So let's do that. Let's go to upload image. All right, so let's try to find that image. Alright, so since this has a back layer, I need to get rid of it. So let's choose simple image and I'm going to delete the background. So let's delete that. Let's delete the middle and we can move on to the next step. And I'm going to uncheck this because we're not printing it. I want it to cut. So let's move on to the next step. Alright, so it should be saved and now I'm going to uh, insert it into the map. All right, so here we go with this R. Now, this is an uploaded R or image that I did not get from Design Space. So let's insert another square and try to do the same thing. All right, so now you can see that the slice is not available. And this is where you have... Um, you know, kind of gives you a little trouble on how to get your split monogram. I can, I can go around it, and instead of slicing that, what I can do is weld it together. Oh, you know what? It's not even allowing me to weld. All right, so here's the workaround. If I choose this image that I uploaded, and I choose hide contour, I'm not going to hide anything. I'm just going to choose it, and then I'm going to click out of it. I didn't, I didn't hide anything. I'm going to bring that right back. I'm going to select the two. Let's see if I did this right. Hide contour. You know what? Let's go ahead and hide something and then bring it back. All right. Now let's try to slice it. And now slice is available. Not sure why it's um, letting you do it that way, but that's an option. So we'll go ahead and slice that. Okay, and then you can do the border for the top and the bottom. And this is kind of a bad example. You can't really tell that this is an R, but this is just an example showing you if you uploaded an image um, outside of Design Space, um, the way that to go ahead and split it. And this is a really pretty one. So that's how to get your split monograms. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you learned something, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see upcoming videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much and see you in the next video.